Hi folks, um, so today I wanted to uh, do uh, That's the Way of the World by Earth, Wind and Fire. <coughs> so it starts here. Um, so this first part uh, starts with a C sharp major seven, so those four notes, and you can complement it with that one if you want. Uh, and what I'm doing is I'm playing strings five through two, or you can play five through one. Uh, and then what it does for this progression, basically the root, or the bass, will stay at C sharp the whole time. Um, and then the rest of the chord, the color will change, and it will go downward, sort of. So from there, da -da -da -da, we'll go to a B uh, over C sharp, and I'm playing uh, uh, strings 5, 3, 2, and 1. You could play this one if you want to, if you can. But okay, let's play that. And what I'm doing is I'm plucking five, uh, three to one. So five, three to one. And then for the next chord, I want to move this one down a half step. So I want to move this one from the fourth fret to the third fret. But it's kind of difficult here, so I'll switch the fingering there. And then for the last chord, I'll move this one a half step again down here, um, but I'll switch the fingering again, so I'll just basically add this guy, since this one has both of these. So from here to here. And again, I'm playing five, three, two, and one. Okay, so it goes. And then right before they go, they repeat the the progression, they do a C major 7th and slide it up to the C sharp major 7th where we started. So they go from the last chord. Um, Okay, so another way we can do the first uh, progression, so we have those four chords, three, four, and then this middle one sliding up. Uh, we can avoid using the first string and just use five, four, three, two, which sounds a little fuller if you're playing it by yourself. Uh, so what you can do to play the exact same progression is start here, the same chord, um, and then the next uh, the next chord, the B over C sharp, we'll just play these four. Just play those four. So. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to move um, this, the third string, from the fourth to the third fret. So I'm here. And I want to move this guy back, so i got to do this. And then I'm going to move it once more for the last chord. And so this way you get sort of fuller chords because you're using these top strings. Alright, the next part of the song is, um, is when they go you will find you look way down in your heart and soul I don't hesitate after what is gone stay young at heart alright so 
that part starts with the same C sharp major seven. And I'll play this in two different ways, all right? So C sharp major seventh goes to a G uh, sharp nine, so G right here. And I'm on the fifth fret here, five, four, six, six. And then you go to an F sharp major seventh. So I'm playing six, four, three, two strings. Then to an F minor seventh. Change it like that, or like this. I don't hesitate, cause the words is gone. Stay young and hot. Then from here, to an A sharp minor seventh. So oh. <coughs> sorry. To a D sharp nine. So only strings five through two. And then finally a G sharp eleven, or you can call it a uh um, an F sharp over G sharp, which is sixth string, fourth, third, and second, and I'm not playing the fifth or the first. So you got to pluck, and it's that chord. It's a lovely chord. If you want to play the same progression, but somewhere else, you can play it up here. So from there, the G uh, sharp nine, you can play here. This is the tenth fret. You look way down. In your heart and soul, I don't hesitate. As the world seems calm, stay young and hot. Okay, the chorus, and I'll just do it up here. to an A seventh. So from here to here. And then it sort of repeats that progression, still in the chorus, except when they do this chord, they use this, the sixth string, as the root, as the note, as the the root. So they go here. And then instead of going straight to the G they do uh, the B over C sharp, and then immediately to the G, and then same idea. Okay, so the chorus goes. Uh, Enjoy.